Planet Dolan. From a leopard hook to pot to pleasuring oneself in a library, we count 30 more ridiculous newspaper headlines. Hi there! My name is Doopy, and I'm here to tell you some really interesting things that you might not have heard before. Number 30. Hospitals resort to hiring doctors. What have they been hiring then? The second headline just explains there are a shortage of physicians and there needs to be some kind of move. Nothing else. Number 29. Lawyers back despite use of bug spray. A prosecutor's office was sprayed with pesticides after a swarm of wasps invaded the space, which is what the article was about. Maybe the person who wrote this headline could have mentioned the invading insects instead of the bug spray? Yeah, those pesky lawyers, they'll ruin any camping trip or barbecue. Number 28. A deputy responded to a report of a vehicle stopping at mailboxes. It was the mailman. There are no words that can describe what a line like this is doing in a news article. Do people not know what a mail truck looks like? Even if the mailman was out of uniform and driving a personal vehicle to deliver mail, it doesn't seem newsworthy enough to include in a newspaper. Number 27. So far, they have determined that the crash occurred when the plane struck the ground. This line of an article is probably the result of a reporter either hurrying to meet a deadline or just bad when it came to explaining events. Despite how funny the line may be, even though they're reporting on a plane crash, it is possible the plane crashed into something mid-air. Number 26. Leopard hooked to pot, but not stoned. This article about a young leopard that wandered into a village and got its head stuck in a water pot said that nobody approached it or harmed it, including throw stones. But seriously, if you don't think the pun in the headline is funny, seeing a leopard with its head stuck in a pot has to be. Number 25. Being bullied, just act less gay, advised teachers. Unlike many headlines on this list, this particular one is exactly what teachers at an unnamed school told students to do to lessen their chances of being bullied. How supportive. Messages like these make you wonder why bullying and being gay are such issues these days. Number 24. Woman missing since she got lost. It sounds like the writer of this article was given a word count to aim for by the editor, and just added a few unnecessary words. Woman missing would have been a fine headline, because it would capture the reader's attention plus sums up the article well. Got lost just sounds like a bit too much. Number 23. Fish need water, Fed say. While it's unclear what the article is about, it still sounds more like a line you would find in a children's book instead of a newspaper. And in recent news, water was found to be wet. Number 22. City Council runs out of time to discuss shorter meetings. The City Council for Laguna Beach, California were tired of adjourning their meetings in the early morning hours. A part of their agenda was going to be a discussion of holding shorter council meetings, but as it appears, other important issues came up. Sounds like the real issue here is newsworthiness, thanks to a possibly slow news day. Number 21. Clinton Licks Beavers This article is about a high school basketball game where Clinton High School defeated the opposing team known as the Beavers. They could have used a different word than licks, such as beats. Though, now it sounds like an article about animal cruelty. So, maybe not. Number 20. Animal rights group to hold meeting at the steakhouse. Yo. Out of all the places these animal rights activists in Montana could have held their meeting, this is where they chose to have it? The article went on to mention that the group hoped to teach others to live a cruelty-free life which included not eating meat. Number 19. Prisoner serving 2,000 year sentence could face more time. A jury will decide if the man serving time for kidnapping and murder will face the death penalty or more time in prison. Instead, maybe let him have the possibility of parole after, say, the first thousand years? At least this kidnapper and murderer is behind bars and, hopefully, will be for the rest of his life. Number 18. Nudist fight erection of towers near Wreck Beach. Okay. This is just wrong. They could have used another word, like maybe construction or building. You can't blame the reporters and editors for trying to write more noticeable headlines, but again, this is just wrong. Number 17. Report of unresponsive man at Malden Casket Company. 
When writing this news brief, the writer should have elaborated on where the unresponsive man was found. It's more likely that this man wasn't found in a casket, but then again, that is only speculation as it doesn't go into any more details. Number 16. Barbershop singers bring joy to school for deaf. Unless there were a bunch of sign language interpreters being on stage with the singers, signing everything that was sung by the singers, it's ridiculous, and maybe even a bit insensitive, to put on a musical show for a bunch of deaf students. It's unclear if the singers did anything else for the students, besides sing various songs that they couldn't hear. Number 15. This one's my favorite. Students cook and serve grandparents. Some students served and cooked a pancake breakfast for visiting grandparents who were at their school for Grandparents' Day. What was the special ingredient in the pancakes? Was this a special school for cannibals? Number 14. Masturbator yanked from library. Unlike other headlines on this list, this particular reporter was well aware of the words she wanted to use. It's everything a good headline should be. It summarizes the article and catches the reader's attention, but while funny, it's still a little inappropriate. Number 13. Walmart. Police receive a report of a newborn infant found in a trash can. Upon investigation, officers discover it was only a burrito. Mistaking a piece of Mexican food for a baby is perhaps the epitome of ridiculous. It's not clear if it was just a prank call or if the caller was under the influence of something and honestly mistook a burrito for a baby. This is something you would probably find on satirical websites such as The Onion. Number 12. Parents keep kids home to protest school closure. The reporter who wrote this headline forgot to include the word possible between protest and school because the article tells about the parents of 200 San Franciscan school children who kept them at home to protest the planned closure of the school. If possible would have been included, then it probably would have implied the parents were contributing to their child's truancy. Number 11. Bridges help people cross rivers. While the headline does summarize what the article is about, education about different bridges such as how they are constructed and where to find certain ones still reads like another piece of information found in the children's book. The article doesn't appear to be much of a news-oriented article as it reads more like something from Wikipedia. Number 10. Homeless man under house arrest. Somebody who doesn't understand the concept of being homeless. Even though the court acknowledged that this man doesn't have a home, the judge ordered he remain on a particular section of sidewalk for a certain period of time. Local police even made sure he was tucked in every night. Number 9. Man arrested after cops spot suspiciously small package in his undies. This is why reporters and editors should come up with their own headlines. It was later revealed by the then editor that the headline was taken from a press release issued by the police. The man referred to in the headline, as it turns out, had a bag of amphetamine stuffed in his pants. Number 8. Bugs flying around with wings are flying bugs. The headline came from what appeared to be an educational column written by an educator. It's not clear what the article itself was about, but the headline does kind of come across as condescending considering how it was written by an educator. Number 7. Planes forced to land at airports. Another headline that might make the reader exclaim, no kidding! This article began talking about two smaller planes that were chased out of a restricted airspace by two fighter jets. While not much more is known about what the article says, it sounds like the smaller planes were forced to land at airports other than their own. It's hard to tell thanks to the vague headline. Number 6. Lawnmower tends to catch fire, but put out easily with garden hose. $30. This classified ad doesn't specify whether this lawnmower comes with a garden hose. Of course, that's doubtful, but the ad is so ridiculous that it sounds like a joke. Number 5. Drunk Drivers Fail Blowjob Test Another reporter who is probably trying to meet the deadline. In addition, it's called a breathalyzer test. Sounds like this reporter had either just graduated from college, was an intern, or knew the test was called a breathalyzer but just has a dirty sense of humor. Number 4. Have you seen this man? He's been described as wearing a black face mask, a hood, and large sunglasses. Another newspaper blurb that is so ridiculous that it almost seems like a joke. But to the right of the police sketch, it appears to be a humorless article about a criminal. 
Number three, a literacy and obstacle study finds. Mistakes happen in writing, which is why many newspapers and magazines employ copy editors, except for this one, apparently. The researchers involved in the study were just lent a hand by this newspaper in proving their point. Number two, Patriots beat Cox. One of the writers for The Patriot, a student newspaper, came up with a funny headline when writing an article about a baseball game where a team at Francis Marion University beat the South Carolina Gamecocks. With a team name like Gamecocks, it's hard to be ridiculed. Number one, researchers, overeating can set stage for obesity. The headline here is an accurate description of what the article is essentially about, how people gain weight by overeating. The article itself is interesting, but the headline states a fact that most of us already know about how weight can be gained. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Snapchatters, accident or not, don't send any more dick pics to grandma. Her poor old heart can't take it. Kidding, of course, but that sort of thing is a lot more common than you would think. It's ridiculously easy to send those very private shots to the wrong person.